Atlantis. Legacy and Legend. Far from a remote past prior to Homo sapiens before history was written, there existed an advanced race who dwelled in a faraway island surrounded by a vast ocean. Ruled by canons dictated by the Logos from a beyond space-time, governed by the enlightened and inherent of an ancient land. A land of magnificent temples and majestic palaces, decorated with all kinds of precious metals and gemstones, harbors and canals, surrounded by waters deep enough for vessels to sail through them. Advanced they were, and all knowing of science and technology far beyond our reach or comprehension. Lost wisdom doomed them to self-destruction and total annihilation, when the shadows from below using a forbidden knowledge released the evil forces and overtook their dimming light, casting them into the bottom of the sea and were never heard of again. Resulting to what may have been a biblical proportion natural disaster wiping them out of the map, only to emerge again in ancient Greek writings in 650 BC of a champion of history known as Plato, who learned of it from Egyptian priests who aided him in translation of ancient Egyptian papyrus, yet, only to re-emerge again in the emerald tablets of Toth the Atlantean who claim it as his original homeland. Atlantis became the first euphoric human dream destination for generations to follow. A chaotic yet vivid quest was launched to find the lost island of Atlantis. Historians, philosophers and archaeologists of all cultures initiated a perpetual search for Atlantis in vain, while rumors passed from generation to generation that it lay deep under the water of the vast Atlantic Ocean, somewhere beyond the Pillars of Hercules or the present Strait of Gibraltar. Failing to support their plights, scientists almost froze their attempts till recently, when the US-led research ended up in locating what might very much be the lost Atlantis somewhere in southern Spain. An analysis of satellite imagery of a suspected submerged spot located north of Cadiz, in Spain led scientists to believe of the probability that they finally have found the lost Atlantis. According to the Emerald Tablets, a horrendous tsunami hit the island and he was ordered to take a chosen elite of its inhabitants on his spaceship on a rescue where they landed somewhere in Africa, most probably present Ethiopia, where they found primitive cave dwellers who he eventually subdued using his magical powers and advanced science, and later had his elite bunch interacting with the primitive and mingle with them with a strong probability of courting with them and begetting a hybrid race later became to be known as the Homo sapiens. I see this assumption more credible than Darwin's theory of evolution since the latter one had a missing link, and since modern findings indicates that Homo erectus and Homo sapiens did manage to live in the same period for thousands of years, before the sapiens managed to dominate our planet diminishing the existence of the less lucky Homo erectus species. Did Plato make a translation error, did Tot claim an unfounded and total myth, or do Atlantis succeed in keeping its hidden secret or waiting for an enlightened modern scientist to renew the effort to discover its whereabouts? Though Atlantis was and still is regarded as a myth by most people, Nevertheless this should not hinder us from using our imagination and applying modern available science in search of it, with our advanced technology and satellite scanning we have a very fair chance to find it, if our will defeats our suspicions. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and stay tuned to our next video. Feel free to like, share, and leave a comment as we'd love to know your thoughts.